If you're just joining us, good morning. Here are the eight things you need to know today. Governor Paula Page is defending his stance on Social Security after coming under fire from his political opponents for characterizing the program as welfare. In a new campaign video, the governor pledges that he is a defender of benefits for retirees. He also attacks Democratic challenger Mike Michaud for voting to cut Medicare benefits at a federal level. Two cities are headed to court over the state's new policy banning undocumented immigrants from receiving welfare benefits. It's part of the LePage administration's push to reduce the number of people seeking general assistance. Both Portland and Westbrook are looking for guidance amid concerns that immigrants should sue the cities or could sue the cities over the policy. Late last night, the South Portland City Council passed the Clear Skies Ordinance against Tar Sands Oil. WMTW News 8's Katie Thompson is live along the waterfront this morning with a closer look for us. Good morning, Katie. Good morning, Megan. And after nearly four hours of public testimony, city councilors here in South Portland approved a first measure of the Tar Sands Ordinance with a vote of six to one. Hundreds of people were there speaking out for and against the ordinance. However, supporters outnumbered opponents nearly three to one and say they're worried that crude oil being loaded onto ships in the city's port will harm the city's air and water. City leaders say the offloading of crude oil here is something that's never been done, so they say it doesn't affect any business right now. Now, this ordinance will be reviewed by a lower committee and then head back to the city council for a final approval vote in two weeks. Live in South Portland, I'm Katie Thompson, WMT. News 8. A new northbound on ramp is set to open at exit 80 today. <laughs> it's going to be at the intersection of I 95 and Alfred A. Plourd Parkway in Lewiston. Blasting is also scheduled to take place in the area beginning on July 15th. It will last about a week as the $17 million project to revamp that exit continues. Continuing the eight things that you need to know today, the United States is getting involved in new diplomatic efforts to try and Calm the intensifying violence between Israel and Hamas. Secretary of State John Kerry has been in touch with Israel, trying to lower tensions there. The outreach comes as Israel struck more than 300 Hamas targets overnight, working to bring an end to the rocket fire from Gaza. The border battle intensifies on Capitol Hill today with another round of Senate hearings over the president's request for additional funding. President Obama continues his two day swing through Texas with a fundraiser this morning, but he still insists. He won't stop at the border after a meeting with Governor Rick Perry. He is urging the president to take steps like sending in the National Guard. Finally, some relief at the pump. Gas prices are on the decline, already a few cents lower than a week ago, and we could see them drop as much as 25 cents by next month. That would be nice as crude oil prices continue to drop. Experts say less demand and cooling tensions in Iraq are making a difference. Lastly this morning, Wine Spectator Magazine awarding 18 main restaurants with this year's Best of Excellence Awards. And among the honorees, Kenny Bunk's White Barn Inn, 555 here in Portland, Fuel in Lewiston. And the magazine gives the award to recognize dedication to wine and food pairings. Well, a quick reminder to respond. It's our question of the day. Having a little fun with it. We want to know if you can narrow it down. What is your favorite restaurant in Maine? And why? So many good ones. You can comment on our Facebook page, Google Plus. You can also reply on Twitter using the hashtag WMTWQOD. Girls, do you have any?